you guys are primarily going to be using these two tabs. And if you do get a fax from somebody, you'll see it come in just like a voicemail. Right? You can view it right from here. You can save it right from here. You can forward it along, mark it as read or unread, or block it entirely. Right? So if it's malicious, you can do that right from here. Now, how do we actually send a fax? Sending a fax is at the very bottom of the app. It looks like a little piece of paper with a fold. And if I press it, it'll actually ask me where I'd like to send it. So I can type in a 10-digit phone number, for example. Um, it has to be the full 10 digits. So I'll just use my own phone number here. I can set up a cover page, some message recipients, and I can also attach any documents up to 20 megabytes. I can literally drag and drop some from my desktop right into that area. Um, here, um, it supports all forms of extensions. So it supports PDFs, TIFFs, anything uh, conventional um, uh, eFax system support under the sun, and we support them as well. So I can go in here, grab a Word document, for example, and hit send now, and now I've essentially just sent a fax, right? But notice the fact that it says fax is submitted, not sent. Fax is not like email, because we have to first send the email, the fax rather, and then see if it reaches its destination. So you'll notice, for those paying attention, you'll notice under fax, and that just doesn't just show me my inbound faxes, it also shows me semi sent faxes. Because just because I submitted it doesn't mean it reached its destination. If this is an old school fax machine, for example, it needs to reach that destination. If that document I attach has 16 pages in it, we have to wait for all 16 to print. And then once it finally does get it, then that fax machine sends a signal back to say the fax was received successfully. So while you're sending a fax, this fax I just sent, you'll see this at the very top, will show you a little fax with a clock in it. This is going to stay this way for a few minutes until you are ready um, to actually get a signal back, and then it will change to fax sent if it actually did go through correctly. If it did not go through correctly, it will actually say fax failed. And in fact, every fax that you send um, also comes with an email transmission result. So whether you send the fax successfully or not successfully, expect an email in your inbox that shows you the result of that fax. Okay. The other way you guys are going to be doing faxing is going to be by email. So you don't have to use the app at all. If you have your work um, email configured for Ring Central, you can simply type in the 10 digit phone number for the fax that you want to send to at rcfax.com. rcfax.com is our system. So if you want to just open up Gmail, type in the phone number at rcfax.com, attach any documents you still want, right? Send it on its way. As long as our email server see it's coming from your work email address, it knows to put two and two together and then sends the fax like it normally would, as if you sent it from the desktop application. Okay, so it gives you that flexibility to send it either way. 